Hey guys, Dr. Justin Marcajani here. Today, back by popular demand, we are gonna be doing a, another video on sinus flushing or sinus irrigation. Really excited, this will be an awesome video. All right, so let's dive in. I've been doing this, kind of going down this rabbit hole for many years. I think sinus irrigation is one of the most powerful things out there you can do to prevent viral infection and bacteria infection, as well as to even kind of reduce some of the inflammation and even heal faster. I'll kind of dive in, I'll show you some of the research and I'll actually do another sinus flush and I'll show you my protocol on how I prevent and even address chronic sinusitis and even flu or bacterial issues because a lot of times when you have a sinus infection, most of the time virus replication starts in the upper sinus cavity. The virus replicates and it can spread and create sinusitis and inflammation. It can go through the eustachian tube into the ear canal because the, the eustachian tube connects right over in here and go to the ear, create an ear infection, can create post-nasal drip and create chronic sore throat. And then of course, make its way down to the lungs and even become a pneumonia. And so this is really the starting point. There's data on sinus flushing, reducing ICU stays for certain viruses by four to six X. So really positive, really cool. I'm actually gonna do it here today and show you guys the real deal and how um, it, it's applied in real life. Okay, so first thing, good sinus irrigation bottle. All right, this is the x -Clear bottle, it's the best one. I have them all. I have the one at Walgreens, I have the Neil Med bottle, I bought a couple other bottles. This is the best one because the plastic on it has enough give when you push in a lot of the weak ones, they stay in, where this one pops back out. So when you squeeze it and you let it go, it comes right back out, which is excellent. A lot of the other ones, you push it in, it stays in like a tin can that's dented. This pops back out. So it's nice when you're doing, you're going from one nose, you stop, and then you go to the other nose, you stop. It's just a really excellent one. I'll put the link for this bottle here below. All right, so our tools, good high quality reverse osmosis water, some kind of a highly quality, high quality reputable bottled water, or a distilled water. You do not want tap water, you do not want not quite filtered well, Brita water, or like, you know, your cheap Berkey filter, like you want a really good RO distilled or a good high quality brand bottled water, like a Mountain Valley is probably good, especially if it's in glass, it's better. But you want to make sure you don't have any junk, parasites, chlorine, any junk going up to your nose. There's a, sto a, a story of a guy last year getting a parasite up in his brain and dying. So these things get a bad rap, but use good, clean water. That's how you bypass it. All right, so eight ounces of water. All right, now I'm a connoisseur with this. So we have our x -Lear packets. These have saline in there, so it's sodium chloride and then bicarbonate, which is baking soda, usually USP grade, so you know it's clean in quality. And this gets mixed in to the bottle, rip it, put it in, done. Okay, option two, Neomed makes a really good one. Neomed, and this has xylitol in it plus bicarb. So you can see right there, this is how the box looks right here. If you buy one, you can get a bottle with it too. So this is a good one to buy because you get the bottle. Now, I don't, these are good, right? I'll mix them in there, here and there, but I don't love them. Uh, I like the Neomed Extra Strength. Neomed, you can get the regular ones that are like bluish gray. The green ones are Extra Strength. All right, so essentially you have Isotonic is one packet. Hypertonic is two packets of the regular. When you do the Extra Strength, one is hypertonic. So isotonic, hypertonic. It just means more electrolytes in there. And the electrolytes are going to have powerful effects of reducing bacteria. If you mix it with something else, like a little bit of iodine, it can even kill viruses too. All right. So what I'll do is this, eight ounces of good quality RO water or high quality water of your choice. You're going to add a packet of your choice. You can do the Exlear, you can do the Neomed or the Neomed Extra Strength. Those are your best ones out there. Okay. I've already mixed this in here. What I'll also do is Get a good high quality iodine. So that's my iodine here. You can get a betadine iodine or a providone iodine from the drugstore. This adds an additional antiviral quality to it. Saline by itself is really good at bacteria. It's not quite as good with viruses. I think, still, I think it's still helpful. You add one drop to it. And again, if you do too much, you know because it, eh, it's a little irritating to the sinuses. I just do one drop. So here it is. Just one drop. Boom. There it is. It'll start off a little bit orange. You just shake it up and then you won't even see it. Put your finger over the top. Now you can't even see it. Now you've added antiviral qualities to it. And iodine is also anti-biofilm. So if you're trying to get mold toxins out, you know, fungal toxins, this really helps break up the biofilm so you can flush it out. So now you've done a really amazing job making it super potent. Now you can, what I'll do is I'll switch. I like the iodine the best because there's a lot of data on it, but you can go either with iodine, um, providone or betadine. You can either go with 
silver, a high quality silver. Silver, you can do a little more because silver is already 99.9% .9 saline. So like a full ML, a silver, milliliter, which is like a dropper full. Or you can do a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, usually like three to four drops of hydrogen peroxide. If you do too much, it will feel like you put pepper up your nose. So just make sure you don't do that. If you do too much, back off. All right, so you have your three mediums. You have iodine, you have silver, and you have hydrogen peroxide, not all at once. Typically, if you want to rotate them and pick an iodine day or a silver day or hydrogen peroxide, you can, just because it'll give you some broad spectrum killing depending on what's up your nose. <clears throat> okay, so here's what I do. So that's my mix. What I'll do first is x Rescue Spray is the best. I basically pre-treat the nose with this first. Two sprays each. You really want to suck it up your nose. I want to taste it in the back of my throat because I want to make sure it's hitting any bacteria or junk or mucus that's in the back of the throat so I can flush it. This says xylitol in it. The xylitol will break up the mucus and break up biofilm so it flushes it out better. Think of this as like Dawn soap on a greasy pan. So now this is the water. If you emulsify the soap slash bacteria and mucus, it's going to flush out better. Also, this has six different herbs. It has grapefruit seed extract in there, which is really good. It has tea tree oil in there. It's in a uh, beta-glucan, oil of oregano, bicarbonate, tea tree, eucalyptus, parsley, potiarco, and then grapefruit. So this has antiviral, antibacterial. So you, you have antibacterial, antiviral here, iodine, sea salt. You have the, the six different herbs, all amazing. Now my nose is starting to run a little bit. That's how I kind of know it start, it's time to flush it. So now let's go flush it. Got my little bowl here. All right, ready? Now, a couple things. When you flush, I like to bear down, like do that position where you swallow, right? Like where your tongue goes on the roof of your mouth. That's what you want to do. I find that takes the eustachian tube and it kind of clamps the eustachian tube down. So you're less likely to have fluid from your nose go to your ear, all right? And then also no bueno on neti pots. Don't like them. Why? One, less pressure. You're turning your head sideways. So now you're creating the eustachian tube. You're giving it a downhill path. So you're inviting it to push crap down your nose. Number one. And number two, it's like going to your patio or your driveway and trying to clean it off with a hose versus a power washer. This is a power washer, lots of pressure, hose just coming off, you know, without your thumb over it. You don't have the pressure. So this is going to allow the pressure. Also, when you do this, if water goes up, it's hitting the whole cavity. Neti pot, it's just hitting the bottom part of the cavity. So you don't get a complete flush, if you will. All right, so watch this. Shake it up. So swallow, tongue on the roof of your mouth. Flow in between. <laughs> and you can't do this with kids. I did it with my first kid, Aiden and Hudson, both at six months old, no issues at all. The little sinus snuckers, suckers they have, you're only getting mucus that far up. Most of these kids' infections are all gonna be up in their forehead. You just won't touch it. I've done it where I've basically had them blown their nose, suck, 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 and then done this, and you get just so much junk out. Now this does an amazing job pre-treating. So two to three seconds of flow, up one nose. Now, blow my nose in between, and again, other side now. Good. And then just so you guys know, I already did this ahead of time. I didn't want to gross you guys out and have some nasty stuff in here, but you may see some serious nasty stuff. And this is good. And so then now, I blow my nose again. And then now the next step is one squirt up each nose. Excellent. And so what I will do out of the gate, if you're starting to get sick and you're starting to feel it, every hour on the hour, two sprays, two to three seconds of flow, blow your nose, two to three seconds of flow, blow your nose, then one and one, and that's it every hour, because if you can catch this really, really fast, you can significantly reduce the chance of an infection. And if you have a sinus infection, where it feels like someone punched you in the face, your teeth are really sore, you have a really bad headache, lots of pressure right here, be on it four to five times a day. The more you can get ahead of it and knock down that viral load, knock down the staph, it's gonna help a ton. And you can combine this with N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine will significantly help breaking down the mucus, the mucolytic, anti-inflammatory, will help with oxidative stress as well. Now, next step, so I'm gonna give you guys lots of value here today, saltwater gargle. This will start to break down staph and strep in your throat. So right after I'm done, same thing,
That'll break the mucus up in the throat. That'll start to get any of that staff and that junk up in the throat. 15 to 30 seconds, I gave you an abbreviated version here today just so you guys could see it. That's my protocol. And then I'll put links for everything below. So do not worry about looking for products. I'll put them all below. I'll pin it and I'll put it in the description. My two favorite things to suck on during the day when you have a throat issue, gonna be Ricola. Ricola has been around for 120 years. Again, it's peppermint, elderberry, wild thyme, hyssop, thyme, mallow, lemon balm, linden flower, sage. Again, I get the stevia sweetened, so there's no extra sugar in there. And then this one my kids like, a little sweeter. It's isomalt, so it's a sugar alcohol, but still sugar-free. And that's a lemon mint. And you really can't taste the mint. It tastes more lemony. Mountain herb is good, too. So I'll go between these two and just suck it all day long. And then I'll also combine that with a nice zinc lozenger. That works amazing as well. So if you have that sore throat, do the gargle in between. It really helps take the mucus out. I'll add in that NAC. You can also add in like a mucinex or a, basically it's bark from a guaiac tree, which is a kind of Native American type of, you know, um, mucolytic type of cure. You could do NAC either or if it's really bad. So if you get the mucus broken down, you emulsify it, you can flush it out. Again, the X-Lear is really, really powerful out of the gate on that too. And let me show you a couple things here. I'm gonna bring some of the receipts for you guys too. All right, so cool study here out of the gate. So a big thing is intraoperative saline irrigation are able to significantly reduce the amount of potentially pathogenic bacteria within the disease sinus mucosa. Awesome, breaks down uh, strep pneumonia staph aureus, which is awesome. Does not break down the bacteria or the viral load, but guess what? That's why we do the iodine. And that's why we do the Exlia Rescue. That gives us the extra ability to break down the viral load. The studies that showed a reduction in a lot of the viruses, guess what? Had a drop or two of the Providone or Betadine iodine. So if you do that, that gives you the extra capacity. All right, cool one right here. Um, nasal irrigation, simple antispinal treatment that relieves the symptoms of a variety of sinus and nasal conditions. Again, this is going to help bring down, it's going to help, one, it's going to help um, provide moisture to the mucosa. It's going to flush it out. It's going to prevent ear infections. People do not talk about it. All you parents with the young kids, this is how you prevent ear infections. If you go look at the sinus anatomy, you'll see right here out of the gates, if I get the sinus anatomy up here, you'll see here, if I can find it, see this right here? Let's see here. Here we go. Boop. See this right here? This is your station tube. So this is in your sinus, in your nose. Boop. There's a little detour right to the ear. This is how you get ear infections. So if you can flush all this junk up, and again, you have the frontal sinus. This is up by your forehead. You have the maxillary sinus over by the cheeks. You sphenoid even deeper. And so you're going to help prevent all this mucus from backing up into your kid's ear. So this is how you prevent an ear infection out of the gate, big time. Also, really cool here. For patients treated with chronic sinusitis or chronic rhinitis. Chronic rhinitis, right? It's going to be inflammation of that whole sinus cavity. Cold, common cold. Uh, dead sea salt irrigation and sprays appear to be as effective at reducing symptoms as saline and as topical steroids. So you can reduce your, your needing of steroids as well. And then also, pretty cool study here. Do saline water gargling and nasal irrigations confer protection against certain viruses and against certain viruses? And then right down here, it talks about here the benefit. And you can look at the references down below. It references a couple of Cochrane data studies here. Nasal irrigation is useful. Oop. There we go. Is useful saline water gargling and saline nasal irrigation of a hypertonic concentration shows protection against the common cold. There's also evidence that it's beneficial, effective saline irrigation in chronic inflammatory conditions like rhinosinusitis and blockages and getting out extra day. And there's all kinds of things in there. It reduces a bacterial load as well as sinus load or viral load too. So pretty cool. Lots of good data on this and just want you guys to see it. So, you know, simple, it's cheap, it's easy. I mean, I bought this packet here, I think 70 of them, I got it for like 20 bucks. This will last me, you know, most of the, the winter here. And then you have your just clean water, which is mostly free. You can get a thing of iodine for six bucks. It'll last you a decade. Doesn't go bad. And then you're ready to go. And then you can gargle with it too right afterwards. And these are awesome. Combine the two. 
Combine the two, very helpful out of the gate. All right, what else did I wanna show you? There's one more thing I wanted to highlight. So we do the sinus gargle afterwards. That is key for getting all the throat stuff under control. And then this before and this after really helps get everything flushed out out of the gate. This will prevent your son or daughter's ear infection. Start with your son's and daughter's young too because this will get them used to it. What I recommend when my kids are really young, my, my wife and I would both do it. We'd make it fun. This is so easy, like great. We'd offer them like a, a nice little incentive, like a little, little low sugar treat incentive if they could do it. You have to give them a little coaxing, hold their hands behind their back just a little bit. But, you know, if you model it to them and make it seem fun and offer a nice incentive, it gets done. And now, now it's a routine. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll put the links down below of all the products that I use, give you Amazon links, and I'll also pin it in the notes down below. Let me know what you guys think. And again, this is like first line therapy that you guys can be doing to one. As soon as you get in from a nasty environment, people are coughing and this and that, washing hands. Yeah, that's good, right? But like get your sinuses irrigated out. That's the absolutely best thing that you guys can do out of the gate. And if you're really having a lot of congestion in the nose where it's just going out the ear and it's like, cause your nose is so pinched up, do this first, wait three to five minutes. If you have to, you can always add in some Afrin, which is oxymetalazine or metalazone. And you can do that. Wait a minute or two, let that open those pathways up. And then you can give it a flush out if it's really pinched up and you just can't get that fluid up there. That's a nice little little uh, functional medicine trick. All right, guys, have a phenomenal day. Put your comments down below. If you have any issues, any chronic health issues you want to dive in deeper, there'll be a link where you can reach out to my staff and team for worldwide functional medicine support. All right, guys, take care. Bye now.